Happening here, we are chatting all about the annual Walk to End Alzheimer's, the world's largest fundraiser for Alzheimer's care, support, and research. And joining us this morning to explain how it is all working this year, we have Development Director Kate Spinella and supporter and caregiver for over 10 years, our friend Mike Montecalvo. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Nice to see you both. Lots to talk about. Uh, Kate, I shall open up with you. Let's talk about how talk about how things are really going to look a lot different this year. Really, what people need to know, all of the details, and how it's going to work. So we say walk is everywhere this year. Unfortunately, um, due to state regulations and, and our concern for making sure everyone stays healthy and strong, we are not gathering together as a group. So people can walk on their appointed walk day or any other day to get involved to raise funds and awareness for Alzheimer's. Our biggest walk that we normally do at Roger Williams Park in Providence comes up this weekend on Sunday, October 4th. People can sign up on to an online opening ceremony at 9.30 a.m. and then head out onto their favorite trail or street or beach or anywhere and participate with us. We, you know, during, during COVID, we need you more than ever, for sure. It is so very important, as you just alluded to, now more than ever. Certainly, this is something that we look forward to annually, putting the spotlight on this event and what it's all about. But the fact that we can still do something, that we can still come together, I think is so important, maybe this year more than ever. And Mike, you, as we said in the intro, involved for so many years now. Let's talk about your story and why you continue to support year after year. You know, I started uh, years ago with the Alzheimer's Association. I really didn't know anybody who had Alzheimer's. Uh, it, I just thought it was a fun event, and we promoted it. This is when I was working in radio, Brendan, so that's how far back this goes. Uh, and then uh, my mother started developing symptoms of uh, Alzheimer's. Uh, she fought it for eight years. She passed away in 2007, so that's 13 years ago. Um, you know, I saw her uh, in a fight. She never wanted to give up. Um, you know, this was this tough lady from Italy that grew up in Italy and during the war and came here. Um, so it's it's a tough disease, and now we're going through it again. My father has, uh, you know, dementia. So it's uh, tough being a caregiver. One of the kind of the messages we're getting out there, especially with COVID, is a lot of uh, a lot of people, the elderly, are isolated, whether they're living in a nursing home or even in their own home. I saw it with my dad, couldn't get out, and that really affects uh, one's memory for sure. So that's, uh, that's, kind of, uh, that's kind of the message uh, this year. Yeah, so very crucial for sure. And Kate, let's discuss, you know, registration and things of that nature, what we really need to know and anything beyond that as well. So it's pretty easy. You go online at alz.org slash ri slash walk or just alz.org slash walk and put in your zip code and you'll find the closest walk to you. Um, if you're not really computer savvy, we can help you as well. And so we have our 800 helpline, which also, if you wanted to call and register, we'll get you registered. But our helpline is also available 24 hours, seven days a week for anyone who has looking for any resources or support. So that number is 1-800-272-3900. Yeah, so many ways we can be involved, and as we were saying, it's just so crucial that everyone can do so. So thank you both for joining us right here this morning. And Mike, as always, thank you for sharing your personal stories. Thanks, Brendan. Thank you, Mike. Hey. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. Great. Kate, great to see you as well. And Mike, I'll see you around the building. Hopefully. I hope so. If you guys would like to review any of this information or to get registered and find out how you can be directly involved, we will have a link at our website, roadshow.com.